All right, we are back with Lightning Returns, and we are going to explore Yusnan. New year, new town, new adventure. Uh, okay. It's nice if they put the most recent save first, no matter what it is, whether it be auto save or manual save. All right, so Yusnan, the map looks pretty, pretty big, so I'm a little intimidated. I don't know where to go. Was the Lord Patron of Yusnan? If anyone's supposed to protect the people, it's him. But instead, he's hiding away in that palace. Hey, what do you have to say? Wow, that was exciting. Hey, bitch! What are you weak to? Nothing. Alright. Well, nothing that I've tried so far. I got a bronze medal. Two clear oozes! I have enough for that to finish that uh that quest. Okay, everybody wants to save you. Okay, I don't need that. Hey, whoa, three star quest. Oh my. Yes, you have come at the appointed time. Your destiny awaits. He knows who I am. And just what makes you so sure that I'm the savior? His eye sees the truth. It cannot be denied. We are alchemists who seek the ultimate truth of all things. Mm -hmm. He has used the alchemic arts on himself. Now, now he possesses the arts. Sounds like a con artist to me. So, what do you want with I don't me? believe in anything to his oracle, your supernatural. I'm not superstitious. Don't believe in ghosts. Don't believe in luck. Don't believe in feng shui. Don't believe in chi. Don't believe in horoscopes. Horoscopes make me so upset. Oh, jeez. Now I gotta listen to these motherfuckers? An oracle? If you've got something to tell me, I'll listen. But I choose my own path. Listen, savior. I say to you that which I have seen. You should give me a hundred dollars. In the sky, you shall meet us in this place. The encounter is ordained. Oh, great. Hope, what do you make of these so called fortune tellers? They don't speak very clearly or quickly, but I think what they basically said was they want you to come back and see them again at noon tomorrow. <laughs> An oracle, but just tell me what to do. Well, I'll decide tomorrow. Woohoo, an item. Mage's gloves. That's exciting. What's this? Say the magic words to the chocobo girls and they'll give you fireworks. The magic words are meow meow cho choco chow. The chocobo girls can be found in various locations between 5 p.m. and 3 a.m. Cool.
All right. Uh, I wanted to look at the map. I gotta go over here. All right. I'm on the right path. Adventuring Essentials. What you got for me? Oh, are these? I didn't know what these were before, but it just occurred to me. These are probably like Libra notes on enemies. God, I'm so dumb. Like a Schrodinger's or those cats in the pots. Zalthus. The uh, dragons. a hotel what excuse me can you take me try it Do we know anything yet? Okay, you're not weak to anything. Fuck you! Okay, physical attack seems to be do just well. Just fine. <gasps> How do I get that item? Do I just jump off the stairs? Yeah, I think I can jump off the stairs if I can make it over this barrier. Who are you? Uh, I'm exploring right now. Thorn of Aggression. Oh, that's what I wanted to look at. The accessory I got. I got Mage's Gloves and Thorn of Aggression. Resist Defaith. And triggers Vigilance and Veil by reducing HP by 5% at the start of the battle. Ugh! I hate that! But... Yeah! I like that. Citizens are asked to report persons matching this description. Security officer. Ah. Camera's going wild on me. These road people look like uh they kinda look like Shinra from Final Fantasy X too. Anything down here? No? Okay. Hey homie! quarter if you really want to see one of the shows they hold there you don't have much choice but the tour guide the tour guide, the tour guide sneaks groups of tourists in through the back route to see the show in the augers quarter trust me he's not that hard to find in fact he's about the easiest person to spot is he the guy with all the instruments I think we've got it now I know how to get you into that palace the gate to the augers quarter is locked and that's blocking you from the palace He's gone. A popular attractions in the Augers Quarter. People want to see them, and it looks like there's a back route that people without IDs can use to get inside. The Savior. Every night, she is on a plane to the Augers Quarter to honor God, the Song of the Savior. She has rooms. It's very popular with tourists, but most visitors just can't get their hands on an ID. They're trying to find another way to see it. Hail there, my stylish lady. You're just dying to see this show, aren't you? Ah, I got it. But I know what a woman wants. Maybe, maybe not. Either way, I don't have an ID to reach the theater. No worries about that. I can get you a special ticket at a special price. A ticket, huh? 
Oh, you playing innocent? I'm sure you know about the sneaking in special. <laughs> I help the poor visitors to our. It doesn't even have a cool code name. It's just sneaking in special. To see our most famous site, the show in our illustrious theater, and I'm the only option they've got. So I buy a ticket and you get me in to see the show, and I've nothing to go on but your word. My word is good, but I can't offer any guarantees. I mean, who knows if you'll make it back alive? That depends on Lady Luck. So put your trust in Fortuna and your money in my pocket. Fine. How much do I have to pay him? But how about a few more details? I knew you were up for it. All right, let me explain to you the brilliance of my little tour, shall I? It starts next to the monorail track. You know, the one that carries supplies from the industrial area. Oh, yeah, sure. I know that. On that track, you'll find some of the best views in the city. If you know where to look, that is. I can take you up on the track from the industrial area and get you set up all nice and comfy. A perch with a view. You'll be able to see the Augur's Quarter and the theater. Sounds easy enough. So where does Lady Luck come into it? Well, the tour's not without danger. The chaos hmm. infusions have been hitting the Ugh. industrial area real hard these days. You might have to fight more than just desperate tourists. See, I remember this. Having to go into the chaos. And those things fuck you up. All I guarantee is, I'm the only way in. Not that it looks like you have plans of actually sitting down and watching a thing, my lady. What are you trying to say? Nothing. None of my business to say where you might be going or who you might be going after. I'm sure the savior place mm. is close to her chest. Mm. Gee, was it the uh, posters around town that tipped you off? I could sell you out to the palace guard, you know, make a pretty profit. I guess you'll also have to depend on your luck to see that I don't just do that. Hmm? Mm. Now, don't you feel like coughing up and buying a ticket to my tour? I'll even give you a special price just for you. A <laughs> hundred thousand gil. All right, two thousand. That's not bad. Betray me to the authorities, go ahead. But watch your back if you do. Ooh, look out for the big bad savior. A ticket for one. <laughs> Time's on the ticket. Be in the industrial area by then or you'll miss your chance for the show. One of my helpers will be in front of the gate to the industrial area. Give them that ticket and they'll take real good care of you. You know the area, right? Past no. Central Avenue and then across the sand in the lower city. We leave on the dot, so don't you dawdle or you'll have to wait for the next tour. Thank you for your business, my good lady. By 6 p.m. There's a monorail near the palace that the supply train runs on. Let me guess, the enterprising tourists sneak into the Augur's Quarter along that track, right? That's right. It's the back route we've been looking for. The are conducting a search. Of course, the crews who run the tours will most likely have people watching the entrance here. Local guide? You know all about our Lord Patron. Yes, the patron is the last remaining Lassie in all the world. He, he is a Lassie. That's our dear Lord Snow. Everyone feels quite safe with Lord Snow at the helm. He takes good care of all of us. All right, hold on. There it is, all the way up there. And you got to take this road all the way down to the palace. Oh, I haven't been to the warehouse district. Maybe I'll see what's over here. Let's look at my quests again. Yep. So, free will. Tomorrow at noon. Okay. The only person you can say Russian is Gordon Gomez. I need to find that thing. I don't know where I'm going to find her doll. Uh, okay. Talk to Luca again. She comes every evening to the plaza at the end of the Idol Avenue. Yeah, what time is the evening? Okay. Each evening, everything's in the evening, including 
going on the tour. God damn. Maybe I should go back to Luxurion. What's this? Oh, another wanted poster. What's over here? <gasps> Boxes! Item? Item. Patron's personal guard notes. Ooh. Ooh. Crystal met. Oh, there's more! Who you is? Nope. You're not interesting. Sorcery shop. Come in and transform yourself into a brand new you. All right. Light slash. I think I can probably synthesize all these. Nice. It doesn't improve at all. <laughs> These are all the same, so I guess I can... Okay, so it did go up. Hey, that one's fully upgraded. Okay, so let's go back to Light Slash. Hey! And that's fully upgraded now. Okay. All the guards are fully upgraded. Oh, that reminds me. I should uh, go to my schemata and give somebody guard level 2. That has guard level 2. Yeah. Wait, hold up. I thought I had another guard two, level 2. Alright, never mind. Maybe I already gave it to Shining Prince and I forgot. Outfitters? Quiet Guardian. Heavy Guard, level 2. Do I like any of these? Cat ears? What am I, some kind of furry? Ah, oh, shit, I forgot to sell myself. Uh, medals! Alright. I gotta find the Chocolina board so I can validate that quest I finished. Hey, what do you got to say? Where is she? Is there something over here? I see a sparkle. I know. I guess not. Ah, shit.
Nice. Bro, bro, bro. Like, bro. More clear ruse. Jesus Christ. I can finish I can finish this quest so many times over. Anything over here? Ah! Nope. Okay. Yeah? I'm one of the guides. What is it? You don't know where you are? I can help. Sparkle? Playing music. Ooh, my eyes are dry. Hey, hey, hey. Nice. <gasps> I see you. Dispel level two. Who you is? The slaughterhouse opens its doors to spectators and contestants during the night's banquets. If you like to join the list, come on open. All right. Tavern owner. We know how to take good. Oh, it's just food. Okay. I didn't expect a cutscene. What's happening here? Dramatic. It's shaking. I assure you it should be highly efficacious for most users. Sadly, it appeared to disagree with that gentleman's liver. Or perhaps spleen. You're an alchemist, right? Don't you people claim to be able to turn lead into gold or something? I don't think I'd buy it. <sighs> that is an unfortunate stereotype all too common. Alchemists are natural philosophers dedicated to unlocking the mysteries of our physical and spiritual worlds. The search for ultimate truth is the core of our ancient art. The transmutation of base metals into gold, that is a mere byproduct yeah. of our inquiries. Oh, uh, for instance, they try to figure out how to spiritual worlds, the ultimate truth. So make ambitious. humans, bring them back to life. Haven't you ever watched Full Metal Alchemist? One of the greatest anime of all time? Oh shit! Location certainly has proven beneficial to my research. Bounty hunters congregate in the area, and as you no doubt know, theirs is a dangerous profession. They are desperate for anything that might give them an edge, and that includes untested potions. Untested? Hmm. Does that mean you're using those poor dupes as test subjects for your latest concoction? <laughs> you got damn right. They all sign the waivers. Perhaps you'd care to join my project. Ooh, you'd make a fine test subject. I have made a new secret potion that needs testing, but all of my regulars have refused oh, to Oh, jeez. Special the battles the with certain restrictions. Time. Every game's gotta have them, right? My theory is two wrongs will make a right, and the blend will have a beneficial effect. Oh, dear. You are carrying a lot of things, aren't you? Maybe you should discard some of them. No, oh, Jesus. All right, I'll sell one potion. Do come again. I'm 
confident that my new potion is. Alright, here we go. Lightning meets a potion peddling alchemist named Velno, who makes an interesting pr proposition. Velno has made a fortifying tincture by mixing two deadly poisons, and she wants Lightning to test it out. It sounds dangerous, but the potion may prove useful in battle. You must free up slot for potion in your inventory. All right. All right, I'm game. What are you expected to do exactly? It will lift your spirits, invigorate your soul, and protect you from hexes and ailments. If you are the kind of person who participates in slaughterhouse tournaments, then this potion will be perfect. Well, of nectar. Like Reptar? So supposed to drink it during a battle. Yes, that would be the perfect time. And afterwards, don't forget to come back and tell me how wonderful it is. Please note that my potions are provided without warranty. Side effects may include dementia, gangrene, sudden death, and hair loss. Good luck. Okay. I'm looking for willing participants to test my experimental concoction during battle. Drink the nectar when plagued with one or more status ailments. Report your findings to me. Okay. That actually shouldn't be too hard. I feel like, you know, if an enemy wants to put status ailments on you, they're gonna load you up. Hey, shiny. I have more AP. I don't know how. Do I just gain it passively? Alice are conducting a search for the intruder calling herself the savior. She has rose-colored hair and is carrying an she has rose-colored hair and is carrying an enormous weapon. Citizens are asked to report persons what a man the class is. Oh, and I find the gila tell the bags. Mm-hmm. Hey, who you is? Looks like you've got yourself a ticket to the play. Even the best are willing to deal when we've got something they want, huh? Just make sure. All right. Oops, that's not what I wanted to press. I think I might be able to do some stuff in Luxerion. I doubt I'm just gonna find Gordon Gourmet. Hey, bitch! What the fuck?! You bitch. Expected as much. Metagard. Oh fuck. An area sweep. What is what are these abilities I'm getting? I like this. Uh not here. Metaguard reduces the damage taken from any attacks and slowly restores HP while guarding. I love that. Yeah, I'll do it on this one. Oh wait. <laughs> I'm dumb. There we go. Yeah, and the other two have guard level two anyway. Cool. And then uh, area sweep. Deals physical damage to target and nearby foes and may launch them in the air. Extends stagger time. That's five! ATP cost is five for area sweep? It's too bad this has blitz locked in. Hmm. I 
I just feel like uh, making a schemata for this default outfit. I like it so much. It's so cool looking. Yeah, well, maybe we'll give this one Arrow. Or Aurora. God, that's a strong Aurora. Wow, oh, this one actually has a ton of HP. It's weird that this shield that's attached to Yuna's uh, schemata, DLC schemata, it gives you a boost in strength. That doesn't make sense. Alright, I guess I'll stick with this one. Nope. Ooh, anything we want to put on her? I am such a sucker for glasses. God damn. She looks good. Mustache. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, those glasses. I'm not even going to be using this Kamada, but I'm like, oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, gotta go to Chocolina. A dangerous cocktail. What I got? Gill and a caution beacon. Oh, I don't care about adornments! Hey. I need to kill more Anubises, but they only show up at night. Everything's at night. Can't do anything during the day. I hate it. Crystal metal. I love that. Are you taking Skip this. I can. I see a shiny. I didn't. My eyes are playing tricks on me. Oh, hey. I'm with the order. I'm inspecting the clock tower. That's where they hung the dummy. You didn't happen to see if they left anything else behind, did you? Thankfully, nothing dangerous was uncovered. In any case, this clock is fine. Job done. But there's a problem? There is. I don't know if you're aware of this, but the clocks in town are all set to this one. Well, if I want to go the extra mile, I really should check the other ones too. Make sure Thanks. All ticking right. For a good job. I don't know. What did I do a good job on? Right here and keep an eye on this one. By the way, hi, Novacore. How's your day going? 
you so worried about the clocks anyway? What's the big deal? It's hard to explain. I have this irrational and thanks for following. creeping into my head. But should the clocks ever stop? And that'll cause everything else to, too. Time, the world, everyone. Finished. I have to know that all the clocks are ticking. I hate to ask, but Oh my god, you make me run around town to look at all the clocks? Alright. Who is terrified that the clock's out? Oh, the one who will follow. Okay. Alright, cool. I knew I could get stuff done in Luxurion. How many are there in this city? Thirteen. Of course there's thirteen. Hey, what do you have to say? Oh snap! Phone's ringing. Phone's ringing. That's odd. Why isn't anyone? Please, somebody help me! Please. What? Who is this? Who am I talking to? Thank goodness. My name is Louise, and I'm being chased by some people. You're being chased. All right. Stay calm. Do you know where you are? Um, I'm by the North Station. Right, right by the graveyard. graveyard. Oh. <laughs> I know where that is. I'm right by there. All right, let me move. All right. Hey, Outfitter, you got anything new for me? Yeah, 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 yeah. Nope. Okay. Goodbye. Oh. All right, cool. One clock down. All right, girl should be here, right? Oh, I'm I'm being led on a goose chase. Louise, is that you? Are they still after you? Oh, is that you again? The girl who answered earlier? The people chasing me? I lost them once, but they're back. Looks like they don't know when to give up. Where are you? Is it the cult? Are they trying to kill somebody else? The cathedral for help to get their attention. I'll try, but I can't promise I'll make it there in time. Okay. The cathedral's so far away. Don't you think the timing of the call was a little odd? It's like the phone rang when I got close. Maybe they have eyes on that place. All right, what's the best way to get to the cathedral? It's all the way fucking over here. Yeah, okay, I gotta go back. Alright, let's go. Alright, she said she could see the cathedral. That must mean the south of the city. No. Okay, okay, through this door. Hey, Chocobo Emporium girl. Everything written down on the list. I still can't remember how to get the Mandragora route. We'll be fine. Everything will be okay. <gasps> Sparkle. Oh, it's just a bronze medal. It's not even interesting. How's everyone doing today? Hey, it's a niblet. Hey, bitch! <laughs> Got him! Nibble hairball could always use some more of those. 
Ah, there's chaos. Oh, fuck. You think you can beat me? Yo, bitch! Thank God it was just a gremlin. Yeah, tattered leather. Woo! Oh, you get a bonus for fighting chaos. And the chaos is just gone, just like that? You have to beat one enemy and chaos is gone? I didn't know that. Ooh, it's where the nervous guy is waiting, isn't it? I think there's a payphone there. Yep, I knew it. My God. I'm just glad you're all right. This girl's so annoying. Well, I managed to get away from those people from before, but now uh, I think I'm lost. Let me get this straight. You're not hurt, just lost. And they're not chasing you anymore, the people that were after you before? Yes, thank you. I'm all right now. Look around you. Do you see any landmarks? Can you describe what you see? Um, mm -hmm. I see. I see a, a bunch of shops here. nearby. Bunch of little streets. Okay, I'll, I'll stay here. Where you is, homie? And, um, yeah. I promise this isn't a hoax. You might not believe me, but I really need your help. I swear I'm telling the truth. I'll be waiting for you. I hope you'll come and find me. If you don't come, I. <sighs> Louise? Louise? What was she trying to tell me? That she's not real, and this is. A hoax, and I'm about to get killed. Ah! How did you know that? Ooh, a good guess. I've fallen for her old pranks myself once or twice. Once or twice? Yeah, she's a bored little girl with too much time on her hands. No one around here takes her seriously anymore. Think about it. She's been living here for several hundred years. Several hundred years. All right, get out of my cutscene, man. Of course. Just because she sounds like a child. No child in this world is truly a child any longer. And even if she is lost, I mean, it's not as though she's hurt or in any kind of danger or something. Eh, I'm sure someone will help her out. Hope, what do you think? This is just another one of her famous pranks. The way she got cut off seemed real. She could have done that herself, for all we know. Just add to the drama. There was something in her voice, a real desperation. Whatever the case, I'm gonna find her. She's somewhere far from the South Station. Did she say messy little streets? Messy little streets. Oh, it's probably the Warren. Yo, that shit sucks. Hey, is that cat gonna give me its quest now? Hey, yo, cat! I still can't talk to you. Fuck. Ah! What the fuck? Okay. Got him. Final words. You didn't give me a fire? You bitch. Oops, that's not what I meant. Oh, I hate these things.
My thoughts on this game? You know... Oh, by the way, hi Aster Phoenix. Welcome to the stream. Um, my thoughts on this game? You know, um... I originally played it when it first came out. And I hated it. I just stopped playing. I was like, this... This game fucking sucks, man. Uh, and this is me giving the game a second chance. And you know what? I feel like I'm liking it more. How do you feel about this game? I think I was playing it incorrectly my first time. Because, like... I was, like... I was doing the battle system all wrong. I was way too aggressive and not blocking. And then, like, I ran out of, uh... ATB all the time, and I hated it. Ha! Yeah, that's, like, that's the thing for me, too. Like, I, I'm i not a fan of, uh, the clock, but I'm like, you know what? I, uh, it's not like, uh, Majora's Mask where, ah, oh, fuck. Where, like, you got one shot to just get it perfectly, and you're done. Like, <laughs> I didn't know this at the time, but like, yeah, you're actually supposed to uh, do the game over and over again and get stronger and stronger. I was like, this is fucking hard as shit. How are you supposed to do this? I challenge you. May you find your way home. What was I saying? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think I was just playing it wrong my first time because like I'm enjoying it much more now. And like also I dilly dallied way too much and like. Uh, when I got to the first, like, real boss, it was way too strong. It had, like, two pluses by its name. I was like, man, I hate this game. So I just put it down. Yeah, there, it does seem like so much to do. So that's why, like, I'm kind of dreading, uh, like, late game when I'm actually trying to, like, you know, actually complete the game. Because I'm like, am I going to have to basically make a schedule of what I'm supposed to go do? Like, alright, this time I have to run through here, do, do this, get this, and then go here, and then do this. And then by this time I need to be here to finish this up. That's what I'm kind of worried about for late game, but like, I'm just accepting that I'll have to deal with that later. And just enjoying myself right now. And, uh... I'm wondering, like, maybe you don't have to do that, because, like... I guess when you get strong enough, you don't have to do all those other quests, so you can just... Uh... Blaze through all the main story quests when you're strong. I don't know. I'm not an expert. You're the expert. You love this game. I can't go to the Warren! God damn it! Maybe I can talk to that Surge guy. Yeah. How do you like this game in comparison to the other games in the Final Fantasy XIII trilogy? Because uh, I just played through them, and uh, they got their problems, man. Mostly just being slow as hell and not being able to control your party members is a pain in the ass. Mostly 13, not 13 too. Alright, I forgot that I can't go to the Warren. What do I do now? Hey Cleric, what do you have to say? Oh man, fuck you and your donations! The five-headed boss? Wait. What's the five-headed boss? Oh! Bartandalus. Yeah. <laughs> you know what's funny? Um, My friend, when 13 first came out, he couldn't beat Bartandalus either. And it was because he was just like blitzing through the game and didn't fight any normal enemies. And then he's like, this boss is too hard! I'm like, that's because you're fucking underleveled as hell, man! Yeah, it's... uh. What I didn't know until this is my second time playing 13 is that uh, I was doing the battle system of that game all wrong too. Uh, like, okay, it took me till the 
till post game of my first playthrough to learn that you need to have like a staggering paradigm, a damage paradigm, and a healing paradigm. You can't have like a balanced paradigm with a healer, stagger, a ravager, and a commando. That's not going to get anything done. And then, on my second playthrough, I learned that buffs and debuffs are actually worthwhile in this series. So when you like buff yourself and debuff the enemies, the game gets like much more manageable. So you just like, and also like uh, saboteurs with their debuffs, they build the stagger bar as well. So you're like killing, you're killing two birds with one stone. Yeah, and then like, you know, you want to clam up with sentinels. Yeah, like, the battle system in those games, it drags a lot less when you have the right paradigm setups and all that, but, uh, yeah, it's still a little slow. And, like, for the harder bosses, you know, they know that you're playing the game like that, so they still make it hard for you when you do that, so they still drag on. Is that a chicken or a dog? Like, uh, in 13-2, the hardest boss in the game... Well, one of the hardest bosses is the Gilgamesh fight in the Colosseum. Tried that fight so many times, I couldn't do it. I just gave up. Oh, yeah. But you know what? I believe in you. You can do it. Like, uh, when was... When did you last attempt to get through the game and you got stuck there? Oh! Oh! Ow. Okay, this is bad. You tried every day for a month and still couldn't get it? My god. Oh, it's weak to Blizzard. Yeah, from what I remember of that fight, you know, you just, uh, oh, fuck, I died. I, I blocked way too late. No, I'm not going to use my EP on this shit. But, uh, from what I remember of doing that fight, uh, you know, of course you want to, you want to kill all the smaller faces first. Uh, and they go down pretty easily, if I remember. They stagger pretty easily. Yeah, you can beat the four heads. And then when it gets to the big head, you still want to, like, do the normal strategy of, like, uh, staggering and healing. Uh, and you definitely want to buff yourself. Buffing yourself is super important. Like, getting haste on your party, getting faith, brave, uh, and all that. Super important. Yeah, so, like... When he does that, you gotta go into all sentinel paradigm and then immediately go into an all medic paradigm and heal. But yeah, like, surviving is a lot easier when you Oh my god, are you kidding me? <laughs> they really put me all the way back here? Alright, hold on. Yeah. But uh yeah, if it it's like uh his his destructo move, it does like a lot less damage when you're all buffed up. So uh you don't have to heal as much as well. Yeah, and also it could it might have just been like a matter of you not being uh Far enough in the Crystarium. I don't know how strong you usually are when you get there. Don't you think the timing of the call was a little odd? It's like the phone rang when I got close. Uh, you know what? I'll run through the graveyard. Fight some enemies.
Nice. I'm awesome. <laughs> the south of the city. Yeah, I would definitely give it another shot. But I can understand you being really, <laughs> uh, really discouraged after trying that many times and still not succeeding. Damn, this paradigm, this schemat is weak as hell. Bitch! Oh shit. Yeah, right? I can't. I'm the same as you. I can't play like a sequel before playing the game before it. So I often trap myself into playing entire franchises before I get to the most recent one that just came out. It's a curse, really. So now my backlog has gotten huge. But damn, I just realized what time it is, and I have dinner plans. So I'm probably gonna have to end things soon. Fuck! <laughs> Alright, I gotta run away from this bitch. You know what? I'll just go to the title screen. I didn't lose that much progress anyway, from what I already lost. All right, it sucks. I, I, I want to talk to you more, Aster Phoenix, but uh, I have to go, unfortunately. But yeah, I implore you to try playing 13 again. Beat that game. Oh yeah, I've uh, I've actually platinum Final Fantasy 15. It's like, it's okay. Like, as a as a video game, I think it's great. But they forgot to put the story in the game. You have to watch an anime and a movie to actually understand what's going on in the plot. And then all the DLC that came out like a year or two after the game. But yeah. I think, uh... 15's great. But yeah. Play... Beat 13, if you can. And then, uh... It's your favorite game? Oh yeah. So the DLC, I've, uh... I've beaten all of it, except for Ignis's, just cause like... I was kind of doing all the DLC at once, and I got kind of sick of it, and I was like, Ignis is... He's not the most interesting party member. But, I don't know. I might go back and do that. But yeah. Um... I really like the Arden DLC. It, like... I hate spoilers. I'll never... Within my power, I'll try to not spoil anything. But, uh... Yeah, the Arden DLC, I'd say it's... Fantastic, and it's uh, required playing. And then everything else is just like extra. But yeah, it was really nice talking to you, Astro Phoenix. I hope you uh, come back for my next stream, which I think should be Thursday night around uh, this time. All right. So uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for talking. Super fun. I love talking about games and their design and stuff. So. Uh, Thanks for watching.